Uh, I'm Luke Crane, and uh, we're here at Gen Con at uh, the Burning Wheel booth. And new at the show uh, is my book about Paris, which took me about four years to write, a lot of research. Uh, but I'm super excited about it. Uh, it's a, the sixth book in my Miseries and Misfortunes series, and it contains the first half information about Paris in the year 1648, including a near daily log of events, all historical, okay. uh, from January 1st to the middle of August. Uh, and then the second half of the book is uh, called uh, Le Grand Système, the, the Great System, where I take those events and build um, uh, build a system in which you can affect the mood of the people of Paris. And so I, I, there were these moments that I came across in my research that I wanted to recreate. And, and one of them is the, the Minister of Finance, the Marshal Milleret, is it, during this one riot, is standing like um, on the Quai de Orage, and the crowd parts, and the, and the riot moves away from him. And then this one uh, clockmaker or silversmith walks out of an alley and they're just alone. It's just the two of them, right? In this like weird moment in history. And the clockmaker raises his pistol and points it at the Minister of Finance of France and pulls the trigger. And I wanted to build a system where the players would know that if they were in this situation and they pulled that trigger, that they could change the course of history. And so that's what the Grand System does. And by the way, that uh, bourgeoisie's pistol misfired in that moment and the the marshal uh, spurred his horse and ran back to the Palais Royal uh, and like basically this is a hardened warrior dude actually he's no he's no like typical minister of finance you might imagine this guy was brought in to crack down on dissent in Paris uh, in the summer of 1648 and he runs crying back to the queen being like the people are in revolt we've got to do something <laughs> it, it's an incredible moment uh, but yeah I wanted to I wanted players to know that if they took this action in play that it will have a real effect uh, on the game. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I've been up to. That's fantastic. Do we see any of the books? Certainly. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so this is the book that uh, I was just talking about, Paris 1648. It's pretty chunky, uh, but the, um, yeah, the core of the game is contained here in uh, the books one and two, the system book and character creation book. Uh, yeah, character creation uh, you won't be surprised to hear is life path based, uh, but it was really fun actually to take like the idea of basic D and D classes and turn them into uh, into life paths. And and you know, for your audience, I was actually really inspired by the basic D and D thief, and I kind of wanted to fix that class. And the more I fixed that class, the more I found, hey, I could actually turn this into a model for life paths. So like with every class having a set of special skills that advance as they level up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been up to. Thank you very much.